Greetings. My name's Tim Stark. I'm a professor of civil engineering here at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. We're recording videos of ASTM test methods commonly used to evaluate the index properties of and engineering properties of geomembranes. Today, I will describe ASTM D5994, which is the standard test method for measuring core thickness of textured geomembranes. The core thickness is important and one of the basic index properties used to control and track the quality of geomembranes. <coughs> the apparatus to measure the thickness is shown here. It's a digital dial gauge with a spring-loaded point. And for textured materials, there are two points, one on top of the geomembrane and one on bottom of the geomembrane. That's illustrated in this sketch that's in the ASTM test method. There's the digital dial gauge that is zeroed before the test. The two metal points penetrate the texturing to measure the core thickness of the geomembrane. And this is a close-up of the two points that are hardened steel. And the remaining thickness where I'm pointing to is the core thickness of the textured geomembrane. To obtain a sample for testing, the full width of the geomembrane is sampled. And from that full width of the geomembrane, individual specimens are obtained from the geomembrane. There's an expression for calculating the number of specimens that should be tested to maintain a confidence that the average will be within 5% of the true value. To make that calculation, which is in the test method, section 7.4.1, you need to have the coefficient of variation for your laboratory in that material. If you don't have that coefficient of variation, the test method requires testing 10 specimens. So 10 specimens would be cut from that full width piece of textured geomembrane. Each specimen will be a circle, three inches in diameter, like the one I'm holding. I've cut five of those typical specimens to demonstrate today. The, each specimen is placed in the dial gauge. First, the dial gauge is zeroed. The point is raised with the little lever and the geomembrane is placed in between the two points. The important part of placing the geomembrane is getting the two points to touch the core of the geomembrane or in between the valleys or texturing of the sheet. Once it's set in a valley, it's held for th five seconds and then the reading is recorded. 0.934. There are three measurements made per specimen. So I move the three inch circular specimen over a little bit, get the two points in a valley, hold for five seconds, and then record the thickness. 1.064. And the final thickness measurement for this specimen is 1.042. Now with the geomembrane, it's good to just put a finger under it or hold it lightly so it doesn't rotate and affect the thickness measurement. So that finishes specimen number one. I take another three inch diameter specimen and put it in. First I'll zero the thickness gauge and put in the next specimen and measure it three times. This value is 1.046. I'll move the sheet specimen, hold for five seconds, 1.146.
And the last one for this specimen is 0.992. So that re would be repeated for eight more specimens you can create a data sheet that looks like this where there for each specimen there are three tests those values are placed in those boxes you'll run ten specimens three times each and that would give you a final average at the bottom the average for the six tests or two specimens that I tested is 1.036. That's measuring thickness of texture geomembranes using ASTM D5994. If you have any questions, please contact me at the University of Illinois or the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute at fabricatedgeomembrane at gmail.com.